Here we mention the latest coronavirus numbers with the state of Nevada reporting more than 1,000 cases. As more testing is done, the cases rise. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy has been covering the shortage of tests and she's live with some new information this evening. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, we could get more coronavirus tests in Southern Nevada this week, and this includes test kits manufactured right here in the state. Governor Steve Sisolak and leaders at the Southern Nevada Health District have repeatedly said they just can't get resources from the federal government. On Friday, the Health District only had the ability to do 119 tests. Private labs are doing the majority of testing, but as we've reported, Nevada is one of several states chosen to fast track testing, meaning it can approve testing without the federal government. Last week, I interviewed the head of the Nevada State Public Health Lab, who explained how this testing will help. It will speed up the time that it takes, less of the time that it takes to find out if certain products will work, and it will allow us to analyze a broader number of products for testing. So here's new information from Dr. Pandori. A spokeswoman wrote in an email, the Nevada State Public Health Lab is issuing its first batch of self-manufactured collection kits. 1,000 will be shipped to the Southern Nevada Health District this week. UNR Med has established a manufacture program for these kits and finished a first batch yesterday. The Nevada State Public Health Lab is performing quality assurance testing on them today and over the next two days. If good, that pipeline will go live this week and they performed quality testing on a new RNA viral extraction kit. They aim to go live with that as well to bolster lab test kits. Now again, private labs are doing the majority of testing, but you do have people who rely on the Southern Nevada Health District. Now they are expected to have more tests. Reporting live, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Thank